The Acer Aspire 3, A315, 43, is a bit of an anachronism if you simply look at its design hardware, however, its price tag is lower as well, so the people who are looking for a more affordable daily driver will certainly enjoy the touch of old school. Now, let's see why. Visually, the laptop looks like any other budget machine. We see a silver finish, while the whole device is made from plastic. However, it doesn't feel bad to the touch and has some flex resistance, which is all you can ask for. For a 15.6 inch machine, it's also fairly portable, weighing 1.81 kilograms and having a profile of 19.9 millimeters. The lid doesn't open with one hand, and the input devices don't try to be a saving grace at all. The key travel is short, despite there being room for more, while the feedback isn't consistent across the board. As for the touchpad, it's got a smooth plastic cover and a relatively good size, however, the tracking feels sluggish. Most of the ports are on the left, with a LAN port, an HDMI port, and two full-sized 5 gigabit USB ports. On the right, there's one more full-sized USB 2.0 port and an audio jack. The display is nothing special, however, it gets the job done. The Full HD IPS panel has good viewing angles and gets up to 278 nits of brightness. It doesn't show any significant color coverage, with about 52% of the sRGB gamut. However, it doesn't use PWM to adjust brightness, so you can use it all day without added strain to your eyes. Still, you should track your screen exposure and take 1 minute breaks every 20 or 30 minutes. If you plan to use the laptop for the office, as it's nothing wrong with that, we'd recommend our office work profile, which makes texts and tables more readable. We'll leave a link to our profiles in the description below. Despite the small 42 watt hours battery pack, the Aspire 3 lasts for 10 hours of web browsing, or 8 hours and 44 minutes of video playback which is a very good result. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. This is due to the efficient Zen 2 CPUs, which are part of the Ryzen 5000 U series. Essentially, AMD refreshed and rebranded some of its older chips. This is good news for you since you can get powerful components for a good price. Here we have the Ryzen 5 5500U, which stacks pretty well against the Core i3-1215U and the Core i5-1235U. The Ryzen 5 is also quite easy to cool down, so you don't really need a robust setup. This means reduced weight and less noise. Here we see two heat pipes and one fan. With it, the laptop maintains a consistent 20 watts load on the chip with clock speeds of 3 GHz and above. On the outside, the laptop remains cool and quiet, with a hotspot of just 33.6 degrees Celsius. The fan can be heard, but it's not annoying at all. The Aspire 3 has 8 GB of soldered DDR4 memory, as well as an empty SODIMM slot. For storage, there's one M.2 slot for Generation 3 SSDs. We have a separate teardown video that shows the upgrade procedure, so if you want to check it out, we'll leave it in the description. The Acer Aspire 3, A315, 43, makes some sacrifices, but the fairly good build quality, performance, and battery life act as pretty good saving graces. With that said, the keyboard and touchpad can be improved. To finish off on a high note, it runs cool and quiet, while you can also add extra memory and storage if you want, so it's definitely one to consider if you have a shoestring budget, but need a good performing device. For more info about the Aspire 3, you can go over our written review, once again linked below, which has extra testing on the screen, as well as detailed specifications and configuration options.